morning and those your devils today we're gonna be cooking a meal prep and it's gonna be delicious and good also besides the meal prep we're gonna go over some things about this lifestyle journey i did not forget about getting in them size 10 pans so don't worry i'm going to show y'all that as well and we're gonna go over the foods that we're gonna continue to eat things that we're gonna be changing in our meal plan and just getting back to this lifestyle so if you're interested in this type of channel and this blog that i'm going to be doing today adding a little bit of pictures here and there also sitting down talking to y'all stay tuned because we got a lot to go over so stay with me and let's enjoy the views the cabbage is done with the meat in there I add a little extra some onions bell pepper that's optional you don't have to do that but that's what I did mm, but for now it's time for dinner so goodbye hey guys welcome to indulge your dimples this is going to be a video of me working out and getting in the gym um, it's raining today so when it's raining my local gym the YMCA they're never packed <laughs> So I was like six people, but I guarantee you it's probably me, the employee, and maybe one of the older guys there. So no need to worry. I'm going to record. We're going to do like an overall full body strength training. Uh, I'm not going to show you on the elliptical. Everybody know how to work the elliptical. Do some type of cardio. It's probably going to be 15, 20 minutes, depending on how I feel when I get in there, depending on what I find to look at. And then we're just going to do like some um, strength training overall, the whole body situation. And I'm going to do two cycles, um, 30 minutes a piece, and I'm going to break them down 15 minutes, um, three different 
exercises. So that's normally what I do. And I do um, 15 reps of it four times. So that's 60 times that I do this exercise. So we're just going to do it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to get out of there. So I probably, normally I be in the gym for about an hour and 30 minutes. That is the max that I be in there. I don't like to be in there longer than that. Um, and less than that means I didn't get everything done I want to get done. Um, besides that, this is just another day of how things are going on the uh, Wellness Wednesday. So we are going to get this day started. I have one bowl in. I need to cut this off because we're going to be trying to get this 215 pounds off Big Soup. I'm sorry, but when I get big and I don't feel myself, I call myself Big Sue. So anybody name is Sue and she's big, I apologize. Just find my real name and say Big, you know, my name. But for now i call myself big sue when i'm just overeating so i got one bowl egg i got me one granny smith apple i love granny smith apples um that butter is for my one piece of toast and this is not even a ounce this is a half an ounce of cheese i just had my coffee with my sugar-free um hazelnut cream and you know i am drinking this water i'm not for sure how many gallons this water is but um i drink one full one and a half one and then on top of that i just went to wally world and bought me some cups and i love these cups because bam look at this so when it's cold it changes blue when it's not cold it is a peach color and i will show y'all later on but these are really cool so i just went and bought me some cups see i can tell like the blue teal it's like one of my favorite colors i think it's cute and the bread that i'm gonna be eating follow me in the kitchen um this is not my uh choice of bread but i guess um one slice every other day is cool it's 100 calories i like the solo bread which i have frozen in the top of the freezer but you know it's whatever i'm gonna do what i can do what i have so uh, that's the bread i'm gonna use right now i don't waste nothing and we're just gonna go ahead and toast that bad boy all right guys so it is lunch time and i was telling you about this cup earlier this morning so actually i just filled this up with 12 ounces of water and um y'all have seen me talk about the lean shake what is this the lean shake i'm gonna actually start finishing finishing this up this is my last one so the way you use this they give you these scoopers in here really cool and the scooper just sits on top like so which is really convenient because you don't have to dig in or looking for it if you ever bought like protein or meal replacements that's a hassle so you get one scoop fill it to the top level it out and you put it in your water now it says eight ounces of water but i do 12 because certain ones are kind of thick this is my second favorite if y'all know my first one is the Girl Scout um, mint, Girl Scout mint, chocolate mint, Girl Scout chocolate mint. But this is my second favorite, so I need to finish it up because I will no longer be buying this. Because listen, listen, it's just not. I need to change some things. Eating, and then I like to put ice in there as well. So I put like two or three cubes of ice in there, and then I stir it up, and it's gonna look like a milk. Uh, it's gonna like um, chocolate milk for real, but it doesn't taste like chocolate milk And I like this cup because the cup changes colors and I keep saying I'm gonna show y'all the color when it's not cold But yeah, I get to that eventually and if y'all don't know, but you know by now This is my uniform my work shirt. So yeah, this is what it looked like once you stir it up it like a um, chocolate milk All right, so this is lunch 
when I come back, I promise you, I'll show you my face. I'm still working, so you know, it's whatever. All right, so I'm back and I finally showed y'all what your girl look like. Um, so I showed you breakfast, I showed you lunch, and that's all I have ate, and I haven't ate anything else. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna cook for dinner. Dinner, I'm gonna throw some vegetables. I always find a protein. I'm trying to eat lean, I'm trying to eat healthy, so do not kill me. So what I'm gonna do is show y'all how I'm going to season my shrimp up. If you watch my videos on Sunday, hopefully you like, subscribe, and you're a part of the Dimples crew, then you know that I cook salmon three different ways. I'm gonna take one of them, one of the recipes from the salmon, because that salmon was so bomb. And I'm actually use that seasoning to marinate my shrimp. So I'm gonna do the Cajun, the brown Cajun seasoning, and it's really, really good, and it got a little kick and a heat and a sweet to it, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, I have raw shrimp right here, and it's already vein and tails off. I don't like to do all that extra stuff, unless I'm being real, real fancy. So, I'm going to put that in a bowl. I'm going to rinse them off in cold water, put that in a bowl. And then, I'm going to put a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. This stuff is really hot. If you don't like a kick, don't put that in there. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah, I know I got dark brown sugar. And I'm going to mix it, let it sit, and I'm put a little bit of grapeseed oil. Now, grapeseed oil cooks very well when it comes to high heat. It tells you that on the bottle, extra virgin olive oil cooks very well in high heat as well. And I think it's even healthier for you. Who knows? I mean, it's going to be healthy today, so <laughs> we're going to use this because this is all I have up there. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of this, mix it up, and then I'm going to show you how Chef Bar R me gets down in the kitchen. Um, I try to keep it simple. I try to keep it easy, breezy when it comes to meal prep and cooking. I'm not into uh, doing a whole lot because if you watch me on Sunday, I know... I'm just I'm, I'm I like to be in the kitchen, but not a long time and I like to cook good food But not be slaving in the kitchen for that long time for that good food So I try to find the middle ground and doing everything and um, that's just my life like my life story and That's it. So enough talking. Let me get to cooking because your girl is hungry. I haven't ate it since that look that little shake this is the reason why I said I'm going to finish that shake up and I'm going to get back to doing something else because the shake is good but it's a mental thing like we're here we're trying to learn how to eat healthier so that girl stop talking and let's get to cooking all right. Ooh, if y'all can smell this, this smells like 
that salmon that I cooked on a Sunday um, cooking lesson, this is really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give me a big old pot and I'm going to cook these in there. And um, shrimp don't take that long and I'm gonna find some type of vegetable and throw this with and dinner will be served. All right, so y'all see that it's steaming. They are done. We're gonna take this broccoli. I'm just gonna put that liquid back in there with the broccoli and the cauliflower. I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of butter. Let this simmer down. Let some of this liquid evaporate. <clears throat> Let that sauce from the seasoning from the sh shrimp get into this cauliflower rice and this broccoli. Let some of that juice evaporate. And then we get done, we can make our bowl up. And y'all know we gotta add a little salt and pepper at the end to finish this off. And dinner is ready. Hey right, guys, so welcome to Wellness Wednesday update. I'm gonna be putting in small little clips of things I'm gonna be doing. Do not mind homegirl back there. She's chilling. She's relaxing. And do not mind my nails. They're going to get done. Anyway, so I'm starting off by going to the gym. I'm going to put some clips in here of me in the gym. Today, I think it's going to be shoulders and back. And I always incorporate something with the stomach, the gut. We need to get that gone. And then also, I'm going to even show y'all my new pre-workout drink that I picked up. And they have a thousand and one flavors. This one right here. Probably going to be my best friend. So, um, look at the clips. Tell me if you enjoy them. And this is starting off on our 90-day challenge to get in them jeans. See you later. <laughs> 